boys and girls, today we are going to be completing two challenges to try and prove um, two properties that gas has. So as we know, gas particles spread out into whichever space they're in and that includes the gas that fills um, the rooms around us. So like oxygen, CO2, things like the air that we breathe is a gas. So how are we going to prove our two hypotheses today? The first challenge, does gas take up space. So what you need for this challenge is a bucket or a whatever it may be, a bucket or a cooking container or whatever it is with water in it. Um, if you've got a clear one, it makes it a lot easier to see what happens with this experiment, but you'll need that. You will need some tissues and you'll need a glass. It doesn't have to be a clear glass, but a clear glass can also help at the same time. What you need to do is pop in our solid, which is our tissues, and push them to the bottom of the glass like so. Now, we hypothesize, that means we think, that the gas is filling up the whole area, all the oxygen that we breathe is filling up the area above the tissue too. So what should happen, hopefully your tissue paper does not uh, fall out, is that when you put it into the water, the gas stays in there and hopefully, even if you submerge it, which means put the entire glass underwater, the tissue should remain dry. So we'll give it a go. So you probably can't see mine, but my glass is almost fully underwater. I'm just going to leave it there for about 10 seconds. Take it out now. The tissue is perfectly dry. So this proves that when you put the tissue at the bottom and you invert it, it actually gets held up by the gas which takes up space. It's a really good thing here to view the, um, the tissue from a clear container. I just don't have one at my place at the moment. So give that a go. Uh, if you want to film yourself completing the task and upload it to Google Classroom, I'd love to see how we go and see what sort of um, different uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different ways of completing the experiment are. So, we've proven that gas does take up space. For our second experiment today, we're going to be investigating if gas has mass. So mass being, does it weigh anything? You know, can, can, can it tip the scales when you put it onto um, a set of scales? Does it does it weigh something, basically? And we learn about maths this week during, um, during mathematics. So, how we're going to do this is you will need two balloons. I've chosen a green and a red one. You will need a ruler. Hopefully a longer one is easier, but you can also use a 30 centimeter one or anything really, any sort of stick or, or long object in which you can tie um, the balloons to either end. And you'll need some string, which I have just... So, in the end, you should have basically a lovely balanced balloons. Now, we can see here that my two balloons have no gas in them or very little, limited amount of gas and the same amount of mass in the, um, the plastic or the rubber that holds the balloon because that's why it's really important to use the same balloons. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to blow one of them up so that it is full of gas, that being the air in my lungs, and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. to tie that up for you or tie it up yourself if you know how to. Alrighty, so now I've got one balloon which is full of gas as we can see in a container and the other balloon has got none. So I'm going to put my finger directly on the middle again. We can see, if I just measure it there, you can see that the 
side of the balloon is going down. So it's actually just proving the gas has mass. So you can see it's weighed more down. And the longer the ruler you have, the more the balloon's going to droop down. Or the bigger the balloon is with the more gas in it, the more it's going to droop down and prove the gas has mass. Now, I've got a red balloon and a green balloon, which I don't know what to do with. But give those two experiments a go. Write down your results. If you notice anything different, try and figure out why that was the case. And um, yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing what you guys can come up with at home.